Hey guys, Mr. Alex here, hike leader at Cuyamaca Outdoor School. I think I speak for everyone when I say we miss you all and hope you're staying safe and healthy during this interesting time that we're living in. I also hope that you are taking some time to get outdoors, especially with the super beautiful weather that we're having right now. Um, but with all this extra time that we now have, one day I found myself cleaning and organizing my room and I came across this large stack of books and I realized, my gosh, 75% of all the books that I own are field guides. Field guides are books or pamphlets designed to help the reader identify plants, animals, and other natural occurrences while out in nature or the field. So these books often contain really useful information on these natural phenomena, including pictures, maps, and detailed information about where they can be found and how they function in the particular environment you find them in. Now, I've been using and collecting these field guides for a long time, but I'm by no means an expert on the many different ways that people can use these books. In fact, a lot of people use them for different ways and in different purposes. I honestly really like them um, for simply just flipping through and looking at pictures of animals and plants and getting an idea of what I might see in a particular area before I actually go there. It's kind of like a Pokedex of the different plants and animals I might find while I'm out exploring. Um, I also just love finding out new information and interesting facts about the different plants and animals that are in the books that I didn't know before reading it. So you might have noticed my collection of field guides contains a lot of books about insects, and that's because I study insects. And the study of insects is called entomology. Everyone say entomology. Yeah, well, there's your sciencey word for the day. You can go impress whoever you live with and let them know that an entomologist is someone who studies insects. Anyways, I would love to see your collection of field guides and to know a little bit more about your favorite ways to use them in the comments below. We hope to see you back out in nature again sometime in the near future. Take it easy. Bye.